Good morning. I call you blessed today in the name of Jesus. Pastor Rick here for another edition of 714 Prayer. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, then will I hear their prayer, and then will I heal their land. We've been doing 714 prayer for 120, 130 days, something like that. <coughs> And we'll continue to do so for some time. It's my honor and my privilege to be able to be with you, uh, as well as to uh, be invited uh, by you to be your pastor and spiritual voice in your life. And I, didn't, I uh, don't take that for granted. And so uh, every time that I have an opportunity to speak with you like this, I take it very seriously and uh, depend upon the Lord to give me a word for you for the day. Excuse me. The Bible teaches us in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, it says this, To him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works within us. According to the power that works within us. I wonder, I wonder how often we consider the actual power that is within us. Have you taken pause to really consider the power that's on the inside of you? Have you really thought about that? God uh, has given us the power in by His Holy Spirit to change the environment that we're in. That any environment that we go into really ought to become different just because you're there. Just because you're there. <laughs> You have, the, you have the power by the Holy Spirit to affect change, and you have the power by the Holy Spirit to make things happen, to literally change the environment, to influence the atmosphere. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about that? That you, as a child of God, filled with the Spirit of God, literally have within you the power to influence the atmosphere? change the landscape of what's happening around you. The power of the Holy Spirit that's in you is unlimited. The resource of power by the Holy Spirit is not tapped. There's nothing that you can't walk through. There's nothing that you cannot overcome. You have all the power of the Holy Spirit working on the inside of you. Do you realize that? <laughs> I know that we're human vessels, but the Bible says that God made us a little lower than the angels, just a little lower than the angels. We have a power because of the Holy Spirit on the inside of us to literally change things. You're more than a conqueror. You are more than an overcomer. You can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. You have the power within you, the resurrecting power. That same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives on the inside of you. I want you to think about that, that you're walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. When you go into a grocery store, whether you, wear a, whether you have to wear a mask or not, and apparently now we do, you are walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep that in your mind. And when you walk in those doors, you literally have within you the power to influence the atmosphere around you. Romans chapter 8 verse 37 says, In all things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Through all things, in anything. All praise and glory belongs to God for this. This isn't us. This is the fact that we have accepted Jesus Christ into our heart and within us resides the Holy Spirit. And you should have a different viewpoint of yourself. I didn't say a viewpoint of uh, uh, high and mighty, lofty. No, be humble. You, might, you have to walk in humility. But I have a sense about me that when I walk into a store, when I walk into a room, because of the Holy Spirit that's on the inside of me, it could affect everything in that environment for the better. 
Wow, praise God. And so I want you to consider the power that's on the inside of you. Consider who you are in Christ and walk in that power. Walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Just a brief devotional for you this morning. Kind of lift your spirits. Let you know you are somebody in Lord in Christ Jesus. You may, you may be nobody outside of Christ Jesus, but in Christ Jesus you are somebody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me pray with you this morning. Father, I thank you for your everlasting power, your unfailing love, <clears throat> your faithfulness that reaches to the heavens. That you care so much for us. You care so much for us. You bring so much joy into our life. <clears throat> we recognize, Lord Jesus, that we can do nothing good without you, but with you we can do all things. We can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Help us, Lord, to walk in the power of who you created us to be and walk in the power of the Holy Spirit that's within us. Those two combinations are unstoppable. Praise God. I give you glory for the beauty of the day, the still day, the, the calm morning, uh, the birds that are chirping in the distance, bouncing around the yard here, just for life. Thank you, Lord, for life. And Lord, as we go through uh, more phases of COVID-19, of different executive orders and all the other things that our, go our government leaders are doing, give us patience, but give us strength to walk in power walk in the power of the Holy Spirit to not just be led like we have a hook in our nose a ring in our nose let us not just be led to the slaughter if you will but to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might praise God we love you Jesus give us wisdom Lord God Help us see ahead. Help us to just see a, 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 at least a little bit ahead as we walk, Lord God. Help us to walk in joy. Help us to walk in peace. Help us to walk in goodness, the righteousness of God. Help us to walk in power. To be little sticks of dynamite for you, Lord God. Praise God. Explosive power in the Lord Jesus that can alter the environment, change the atmosphere for the better, for the good. Lord, we'll always be careful and we'll always be cautious to give you all the honor and the glory and take absolutely none for ourselves, for it belongs to you. We are but your servants. Praise the Lord. I call blessings, Lord, upon all my friends, upon all those that are watching this video today, I pray that they sense your power and sense your presence and that they understand that they are walking in health, they're walking in healing, they're walking in prosperity, they're walking in power, in the power of the Holy Ghost. And we thank you for that in Jesus' holy name. Praise God. Well, another uh, uh, good 714, I pray that it has blessed you. I want to encourage you to come on out tomorrow night for our midweek Bible study service. I'm looking forward to bringing the word and to teaching you some more things about what Jesus wants us to know about the end times. We are in startling times and it's time for us to, to wake up and for some of us to maybe have the slack jerked out of us a little bit to recognize the times that we live. And, uh, and to live the life of a disciple of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Well, I love you so very much. I appreciate you. Uh, appreciate all of those. Uh, so many of you, you send us cards and you, you send us notes and messages of encouragement. And I, and I just, I know I talk about this occasionally, but it really means a great deal to us. And we appreciate that very much. 
but we send our love back to you, both Miss Diane and I. I want you to know that we're praying for you, we're believing in God's best for you, and we know that God has a plan for your life. And our, our job together is to let your life intersect with God's plan uh, so you can live your destiny and live the life you're born to live. Praise God. Keep your nose in the book, keep your knees bent to heaven, keep your body in the house of God. Everything should go right if you'll do those kinds of things. I love you. Have an amazing, supernatural, outstanding day. God bless you.